wake up everybody it's your girl sophie so back here on sophia's football talk to do a preview for man united's away game to bournemouth the cherries tomorrow late afternoon and we have you know in a week away as obviously Man, I don't be having any midweek games since we, you know, we're not a part of the Champions League, Europa League uh, whole debacle. But hey, it's actually nice watching other games that's not about Man United. And like Ravi said, big up to you. What a week of European football. I agree. Incredible week. And I'm just glad that I just got to be neutral, enjoy it, and just watch. Because Lord have mercy. Liverpool, they can hold that. That's all I'm going to say. They can hold that. But it's not about Liverpool today. It is about Man United. The Prem is back in action before we fully dive in to tomorrow's game. Make sure that you, of course, give this video here a big thumbs up because the more likes we get, the more we're able to push the video out there for more people to see. I right? subscribe as well. We're still on the road to 3K subscribers, so let's make that happen. Link is in the bio if you want to become a SFT member. Link's in the bio. But yeah, let's start. So before we fully dive, dive into the game, I have some news that I want to talk about. So, first one, Rashi Rashford won the Premier League Goal of the Month for March, obviously, early March, uh, the goal that he scored against, the opening goal against Man City in the matches derby. I mean, yes, we lost, but that goal was hella good. And I'm not shocked. I'm pretty sure I might. You know what? I might have actually said after that game that, you know what? I'm not going to be shocked if that goal ends up becoming goal of the month. I think I might have said that in my match reaction, potentially after that game but uh was a very good goal rocket of a goal and uh, you know big up to him i mean we'd be kind of stacking up some individual awards here and there but already have i believe three players so far this season with goal of the month so obviously i think did i also have another one as well or is this the only one maybe this one and then copy may you know against wolves and then of course also i mean which one i the, Ganacho against Everton, the um, overhead kick. That one for me is like that. That should get the Puskas award for sure this year. It has to because that's how good that uh, goal was. And uh, at least it should be a big contender, I think. But regardless, um, in regards to transfer news, Inter Milan are interested in Aaron Wan-Bissaka. They're interested in wan he will be a key target if Denzel Dumfries uh, ends up, you know, departing this summer. And talks with his entourage have already been held. This is reported by Gazzetta, an Italian outlet. And I've been hearing, you know, the thing is, though, Man United has been linked with Dumfries. And then I've also been hearing a little bit even before this news that we've kind of been trying to do a little bit of a swap deal between uh, Dumfries and Wampisaka, but um, we'll have to wait and see. I personally would not mind. I mean, yes, Dumfries is more of a wing back, but he, it's a player there. I think that's a player that sometimes gets a bit of an unfair scrutiny. I personally really do like him. I, I, I enjoy him for the Dutch national team, and I also like him for him, especially this season. I think he's been very good. A little bit in and around the team here and there, but I think overall it's a good player. And so for the right price, I wouldn't mind. But I, I think it's pretty clear that Juan Bissaka will be leaving this summer. He definitely will be one of many that will be that we will be saying goodbye to this season. You know, thank you for your service, but you gotta go. And that's kind of where I'm at. And you know what? That's completely fine. Pick up to Tommy. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that when it comes to some of the you know, news. You know me, always love to talk about the news first before we fully dive into the game. And this won't be a super long uh, match preview at all by any means. Um, let's talk about the game, though. So, 
we're gonna play against the cherries by the way big up to roll me one kenobi yeah we gotta love the skamaka set things 100 percent. if you know you know yeah big up my g big up tomorrow will we be able to get revenge on the cherries lord have mercy i still am mad after us getting beat up at home by Bournemouth. they've never won against us at old Trafford. I believe and we had yet another record that was broken another one in the words of dj khaled another one you know what i'm saying it was a madness okay hashtag madness. all right if you know you know that's all i'm gonna say but either way i i mean we do struggle. We do. Let's be honest. We, you know, last game. Trying to see what was the last game? What's the last game against Liverpool? Yeah, the last game was against Liverpool, where we drew. Yeah. Which is still mad, actually. We drew in that game. Could have even won, but we we drew. Um, so and before that we lost you know bottled it against chelsea before then we drew to fulham so it's just it's a madness with this team um i've told y'all a long time ago i've given up on the whole top four i think we'll get sixth place um and i'm not like even here with the whole you know cold efficiency ish man united getting fifth maybe potentially champions league no I only want to, if we're going to get Champions League, it has to be with getting top four. Because I don't like the whole new thing where you can now get an extra spot. If you do, you do. But I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, my God. Because I just don't think we don't we deserve it. If we end up getting it, then obviously we deserve it. I'm, I'm thinking if we get, if we, which I don't believe we will. But let's say we get fourth. Miraculously, we get fourth. Then, of course, I would say we deserve it. Because it's not my fault Villa and Spurs bottled it. But I know in my heart, I know logically it won't happen. We are not going to get top four. So I've given up on that. Now it's just about, okay, I just am trying to enjoy some players. You know, watching Cubby Mayna play football, joy to watch. You know what I'm saying? Kambuala getting a chance, had an amazing performance cameo against Liverpool. Uh, in his second start of the season, you know, there's there's some gems that we have in this team. So I want to see more youngsters get a chance. Like, F it. I'm, I'm, I'm here with this. I'm not even going to hold you. I want to see more youngsters get a chance. Whether or not that will be the case well, is a different story. But I'm literally just done with the season. I, I am. I'm, I'm not angry no more. I, I get occasionally annoyed. But I'm not angry. I'm not sad. Oh, I'm so done with this season. I feel like I really am. I want the manager gone. And that's literally where I'm at with it. I just want him gone. You know? Big up, Lewis. Hope you're well. Like, real talk. That's literally where I'm at with it all. You know? So, for me, tomorrow's game away from home, it won't be easy. We I, I I'll, I'll let you know my score prediction at the end. But I don't, spoiler alert though, I don't think we will win. Just because we're so, unpre we are so, in we're so consistently inconsistent or inconsistently consistent. No, it might be we're consistently inconsistent. That's what we are. One week we can slap a big team up, really show up to occasion, I should say. Another week, the week after, we get slapped up by a team, you know, mid-table or bottom of the league. You know, that's kind of where we at. Legit. So, it is what it is. But when it, in regards to the team news, so if we start off with Man United's team news, Evans and Moran, we already knew. They've been ruled out for this kickoff um i think varan is out due to muscle injury 
Evans might be back soon, but both of them will be missing this game regardless. So we probably will just be going with the same back four, to be fair, but we'll dive into that in a second. So still out with uh, Martinez, Shaw, Malasia, and Lindelöf on the sidelines. Martial also remains out. I mean, is there any way we need to keep mentioning him? Not really. It's the same-ish. McTominay obviously missed the 2-2 draw with Liverpool um, and also seems very unlikely that he'll be fit to join tomorrow's game. So, yeah. Uh, Rashford did train and may be available to feature. I believe, I mean, he did get subbed off. It might have been, might have been a knock that he sustained then, but either way, not 100% sure whether or not he'll play, but... I think he could be still be on the on, on the bench. Um as I did mention Malaysia, by the way, there's a couple of news that came out in regards to Malaysia. So by MJC is critically, I think it is. As I say, Tyrell Malaysia is back at Carrington this week, but will continue to work with an external specialist and travel between Manchester, Barcelona, and his home country in the Netherlands until he's ready to join team training. Uh, so he's back, but he's just not back in team training. I mean, obviously, he'll be, he won't be able, he's, he's still not at any minutes this season, and he won't, he won't be making it, you know, in time to get a few minutes before the season is done. So we have to just, you know, hopefully he can get fit for next season. I mean, I feel so bad for him. I just hope that he's mentally and physically okay. I just, you know, seriously. Having a setback in, of, of that sort is is pretty dis, discouraging, and I get that. So, you know, best of luck to his recovery, and I hope he gets it gets there. You know, uh, Tommy says I smell another disaster class tomorrow. The most man United thing ever written all over tomorrow's game. Hope I'm wrong though, Tommy. You're not alone. You're not alone in this. Romy Wong Kenobi says I say man United wins three nil. Yeah, that's not happening. Sophia, what do you think about Perez keeping? An eye on Cubby. I don't believe it. You know, do you? Nah. Personally speaking, I don't buy it. I don't. Romeo Kenobi says Kambuala is impressing me. Hey, he's impressing a lot of us. So, yeah. Bournemouth team news. We have Irao Ola has added. I mean, obviously, the, that's the um, manager. He actually became the um, Premier League manager of the month for March, by the way. And then Nunes became, oh no, that's, what am I? No, no, it was him, actually. It was him. He did get it. And then it was Nunes, the Fulham player, who became the player, the player of the month. And obviously, Rashford got the goal of the month. But I digress. So, Simeone. Okay, Simeone. Ah, he's going to be absent. Okay, then I have to change my thumbnail for tomorrow's match reaction. Okay, good to know. Uh, Ghana winger has had a cold and is nursing a minor calf problem. So he'll be out. The hosts are also without Marcus, Marcus Tavernier, Ryan Fredericks, and Luis Sinistera. Tavernier, who scored the last game against Luton Town, faces a battle to feature against this term. Just one month of the end of the season, said Ira Loa. Huh. I hope he plays, but it's going to be more difficult to play a lot of games. And also, Tyler Adams and Chris Mepam were rated as doubt, but will not feature either. So that's that for the Bournemouth team news. In regards to the lineup, I think we probably would be having... I think we will be having the same lineup, you know? Except for maybe Rashford is on the bench and then Anthony comes in for him. So, Rice, Onana and Gold, Dallo, right. The thing is, though, he's been having Wan Bissaka left back. And I'm like, no, have Dallo left back and you have Wan Bissaka right back. I hope that can be the case, but Tanak is doing a badness, you know? Uh, Kambuala Maguire partnership. Probably would be the case. And they did, both of them did a very good job against Liverpool. They had a lot to do, and they did well, by the way. Uh, Casemiro, 
did well in the first half, but second half annoyed the crap out of me. But he might probably start. Uh, Mayno, um, being very overplayed. He's been a bit, it's been a bit meh performances. Two, three games here, here and there. But he still showed up with the screamer of a goal. Uh, and I, I won't be shocked if that becomes April goal of the month, by the way. I won't be shocked by that whatsoever. Um, Bruno, does he ever misses a game? No, not at all. Like once or twice, but not much. Ganacho, and then if Rashford is not fully fit, then I think Anthony comes in for him, who's actually done a, a good job when he's been getting minutes. So, you know, Eileen hasn't really fully gotten into form since coming back from injury. So I hope he can kick back into full gear. Uh, right as he, where he, you know, what should I say? Where, where he ended it, if that makes sense. So we have to wait and see. Um, and now, as we're slowly wrapping it up, prediction. I want, of course, hear your score prediction as well. I mean, obviously, we have Romy Wan Kenobi's Real Madrid fan who says United will win 3-0. I do have to... Make it very clear, we are playing away from home. Not that that makes it very much different because we did lose, was it 3 0, 3 1 or something, to Bournemouth at Old Trafford not a few months ago. So, you know, I, I don't think we're going to slap anybody up 3 0. I don't think that's going to happen. So, yeah, I'm personally going to say that I think, I think it's going to be a draw, you know. I think it's going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. Big up. Big up to you. I don't know if you're new here. Big up says, I'm not confident, to be honest. We are serial butlers. We really are serial butlers. Like, literally, we are. So I can't trust us to be fully, you know, fully making sure that we're going to win. I I, I just, I, I, I can't. I can't fully back Man United to do it. I can't do it. You know, I, I got to stay true to myself and be honest, you know. So, therefore, I think it's going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. We should be winning. Arguably, we should be winning. Whether or not we will is a different conversation for a different time. But it is what it is. Lewis says a 2-0 win. When we won't up, says keep the faith. So, yeah, I'll, you know. I'm so sorry, but this season, I'm so emotionally drained that I can't keep faith no more with this team. I reset and start over for next season, but once we get a lot of these players out, hopefully, and the manager out, getting, you know, obviously before that, Dan Ashworth, and hey, it's, it's pronounced Nimilia. Ah, Nimilia. Okay. Silent H. Nimilia. Nimilia. Emilia. Big up to you. Hope you're doing well, mate. Yes. Big up, big up. Um, but yeah, also I do want to know your score prediction though, name Emilia. I'll 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 work on the name. I'll work on the name. Once again, one one. Or what do I want to say two one? Do I want to say two one, Man United? Are we gonna shit house us? You know what? Effie, we're gonna say two one man united. Two one man united. The natural score is one. And then, are we going to say Cubby's course again or no? Halen, Halen, Halen. And then Solanke scores the the one for, for Bournemouth. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Nothing to lose now. We'll just say a cheeky 2-1. Why not? Why not? I need us to get this. This kid is from the 2010 2011 season. I'm like, can we get back to the good vibes? You know what I'm saying? Can we get back to the good vibes? Come on. 2 2, it feels like a draw. I think it probably, I, even though I changed my mind, I think it probably would be a draw. Haley will score. I hope so. We're going to manifest that he needs to get score again. Get on the score sheet. Make it. I want him to get double digits Premier League goals because he has seven. I want him to get 10. 
at least 12, I think, would be ideal, to be fair. But if you can at least get 10, you know, even though, nah, I want him to get 12. We don't have that many games left, though, so technically he needs to score like a brace here and there. Maybe scratch, right? Maybe scratch, right? Maybe something, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, guys, we're going to end it here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this live match preview. I'll be back straight after tomorrow's game to do a live match reaction, of course. Talk about the game. And it is what it is. So make sure that you are subscribed, that you have on the notification bell button so you don't miss out on when your girl is live or when your girl got a video that just dropped or anything of that sort. Uh, make sure that you, of course, subscribe as well. If you didn't even already say it, because we're still on the road to 3K subscribers, like the video. If you watch this on the replay, do let me know your score prediction as well. And feel free to join the SFT membership. Link is in the description box. You read this one. Well, we want Kenobi says, when you guys inevitably win, I will be here to collect my flowers. And we will give you the flowers. We will. We will. I hope we will. Oh, we will. What did you get? I have no problem with, with, you know, giving away flowers, if and and be like, you know what? I was wrong for this game. My prediction was wrong. I want to be wrong, cause that helps my team out. So there is no harm, no foul, no shame in that, you know. But yeah, guys, see you guys tomorrow. And that's that. Peace out. Stuff you found.